Hey guys, it's just so Trish, and I wanted to give you a flip through to the first ever Homeschool Association Planner. Okay, this is the first one I've seen. I've not seen any um, YouTubers anywhere posted about a planner created by a homeschool convention or a homeschool association. This one's by the FPEA, which stands for the Florida Parent Educator Association here in Florida, and this was made available at the homeschool convention. So this is for 2019-2020. Um, I love the print. It has a very much, um, this is the back. It is a laminated cover. It does not have pockets, though. It has a nice gloss finish and um, plastic coils. It really is a well-built um, planner. So let's start from the beginning. So of course you get published by FPA.com. You get a spot to put your information. And then it has this, it's very family oriented. Now don't be mistaken, I'm not sure if it's intended to be a homeschool planner or if it's really just intended to be a mom planner. And I feel like this is more of a mom planner or a personal planner, family planner, not a homeschool planner. So family favorites, you have things to put down that's your favorite. You know, I thought that was such a nice touch. I love this. I don't know if you can see it really well, but those are all bullets. So you could do some bullet setups. I like the fact that they did a bullet grid. A good plan is like a road map. And I love it. You know, you got the surfboards. It's got a very beachy florida theme so you get our year at a glance january to december of 2019 i like the colors and i like the font i have to say and then you get one for 2020 and then you get our homeschool year so you get curriculum classes electives co-ops resources so i'm not sure how you would set this up um i'm going to put a link to a group, a homeschool group, um, by my friend Hannah down in below that I'm sure they are probably going to be showing off this planner, but it's a good resource to have, especially if you live in Florida. So again, your bullet, another great, my love for you is like a Florida sunset. I love the, um, prints. I love that it has a very theme. So unlike most planners, this one starts in June, which probably has a lot to do with our homeschool convention is the last weekend in May. So I think it's really fun that they've set this planner up to start right after the convention. And you don't have to wait. So you have a very happy planner, Erin Condren planner feel with these like three boxes. You've got a nice set of lines here. You have a good note part. I love this. This is a way to do a habit tracker and you can check it off each day. And I like that it's actually a personal planner. So, you know, how the month's going to look alike. And then we go into the back of it. And we have our must-reads, giving you four-spot must-reads for June. Adventure awaits, so four spots for field trips with a space for contact info. A spot for birthdays. Really, I like that touch. It kind of keeps that idea going. You have a budget at a glance. So this actually feels very Dave Ramsey-ish for the budget. And then you have a meal plan, so for four weeks. Oh. We have a meal plan for four weeks. Alright, so here we have um, the meal planner. So I like it. It gives you a spot for a shopping list. And you have... Um, a seven day week layout and baking dairy. I guess it looks like there was dots here. Like maybe they missed the, I don't know. Looks like there should have probably have been cubes there, but that's okay. Um, monthly chores and home projects. I like this, the tasks, chores for kids, household needs, projects for the month. And then I really, this is where I really like, and you can tell, like, there's that appreciation of that homeschool mom. Mom's cozy corner of inspiration. A little thought of bringing it back to mom. 
dream big and they give you four quadrants of family, self-care, play, and work. I think this is very thoughtful. It seems impossible until it's done. And then a spot to be grateful for. And then you go into your um, bullet paper, Land of Sunshine. So now we're in July. And again, we're going into that same layout as before. So let's see how much has changed. You have the same layout. It seems to be the same paper. Meal plans. Monthly projects, mom. And this time it says courage is grace under pressure. I like that. Okay. So now we're in August is blue and we got a little blue crab there. And our weeks are blue. Let's see what it says. Ooh, and look, see it ha now we've moved into a blue look. Strive for progress, not perfection. Again, this also has that blue hue to it. So very nice for August. September is in a green. And I like this. They actually put their activities that are coming up on the calendar for you. So that's pretty cool. And again, your pages are now green. And so are your meal planning. If not now, when? If you talk about it. So we go into October. And more of an orange color. Difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. I really like these slogans that they've put in here. This one's, ooh, November is purple. So that's a nice color. She turned her cans into cans and her dreams into plans. I sure hate having to wear my flip-flops and sunglasses everywhere in December. No one ever. Isn't that funny? That's pretty... That's very Florida. Oh, and they have the nice alligator at the bottom. Love it. Oh, and look, there he is. Oh, I'm going to love December. Okay, so then we go back into the back. Find joy in the journey. We get a manatee for January. And I like this. See, we're changing months, so we changed colors. And I like, I have to say, I like that. Hmm. Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. So then we get a stingray. Wake up early, be ambitious, get stuff done. Oh, I like the flamingo paper. Oh, and the flamingos in blue even better. Oh, and then pink. So you're getting a good feel of it, right? Oh, that's a cute layout. I like those colors. I'm really liking the meal planning. It's not something I do well. I think I've told you more than once that I'm like, I need to get better at that. But I like how it's set up. Sea turtle wisdom. So let's get on to the back. So it's obviously going to stick to that side. I like how you get the notes side here. Toward, at the end, so this goes to May because that would make sense at the end. You would go and pick up your new planner at the next convention, right? Never underestimate yourself. All right, so at the end, you get a look ahead page with your months coming out in 2020. So that's a really nice aspect. You get future plans, so you get to list out your future plans. This is really cool. You get some coloring pages, dotted stars. Now we have vacation plans, so let's check this out. All right, so you get a set of save the dates. That is really nice. You get a set of save the dates of different FPA um Activities coming up. Oh, this is going to work out really good. I really want to go to that this year. The Marine Biology. Um, they have a cruise next January. They have a wild, wild floor to live free. That is the next convention. Um, and then the graduation. And then we have some ads. So I'm sure that helped. Okay, so now we go into vacation planning. So you get the destination. Oh, this is really neat. Do before you leave. Remember to pack notes. Trip itinerary. And then you get, so this is another page of that. So you get two pages. You get summer playlist, staycation ideas. 
So here's like ideas you want to do for summer. Here's ideas you want to do for staycation. And here's some staycation pages. That was a staycation page. Okay, and then they gave you a page to help you plan and prepare for next convention. This is really cool. Um, sessions you want to go to outside the motel. Notes, special events, children's program, hotel convention, accommodations. This is so neat. Then you get another dot. All right, so then here is home and family. So you get daily task, weekly task, quarterly or monthly task, annual task. I really need to think this out. I need to put some of that in action. Oh, how cool. So this is July 4th. So this helps you plan your July 4th. Thanksgiving, Christmas, Ooh, a little more Christmas shopping and cards, Easter, cool gift planning birthdays, gift planning holidays, and they even have, you can't see this, buy, make, and wrap so you can check off what you've done. A look back, what to keep, what to change. Stocking up my canning schedule. Oh, I like that. Oh, and then we have a hurricane planning page. So we can plan out that we have what we need for hurricane season. Pantry basics. All right. Con oh, look at this. We have a context page. I like that. All right. So what do we have next? Homeschool support. So here's all your legal information you need for your homeschool. Um, information for your evaluation, um, resources for, this is really cool, where do I find curriculum, a roadmap for the final year, so, th oh, this is perfect for ninth grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, and approaches to high school, and then this is what I love, and then in the back you have forms that you can photocopy and or write in for homeschool and they even have um, I think these are all on their website high school credit tracking sheet so I'm not thinking you would write in this per se but you would photocopy it and use it and then here's a high school transcript and I believe all of these are online Volunteer log hours. Let um, and then daily log. I don't know how this. Um, I think you would almost you would photocopy this maybe. So there you have it. So there is the mama planner. I'm gonna call it a mama planner. Definitely not a homeschool planner. A mama planner for 2019-2020 created by FPEA and I have to say this is their first planner they've ever done and I think they hit it out of the ball ballpark immediately. I'm going to put a link on there. I'm not sure if they were selling these online. They had them for sale at the con homeschool convention and so I'm not sure if they're going to be available online for purchase but if they are I'm going to put the link down there. Remember you can go to fpea.com Com. So I hope you like this video. Um, go ahead if you'd like. If you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button and let me know what you think about this planner. What do you think? I think they, I really think they did a good job. So we'll talk to you later. See you soon. Bye.